This is a patient with a known uh, carcinoid tumor, and we were asked to evaluate it with uh, CTA imaging. And so we'll show you the CTA uh, imaging of this patient uh, that's done in the arterial phase over here. As you scroll downwards, we can start to appreciate the abnormality. And we really start to see this heterogeneous mesenteric mass that's hypervascular. We can see it right over there. And associated at the periphery, it looks like there's some um, tethering and spiculated margins. And some of that tethering and spiculation is extending outwards to numerous loops of small bowel that are tethered to this location that are a little bit distended. And uh, we can start to appreciate that some of these bowel loops certainly have low density within them. There's probably just some fluid. But some of them also have this high density content over here, um, other foci, for example, over here, and some other foci over here. So there's multiple, multiple nodules of uh, hyperattenuation within these loops of small bowel that are fluid filled, distended, and tethered to this mass in the mesentery. And so these findings are classic for a carcinoid tumor of the small bowel. Usually they're multifocal and you can see them in several locations adjacent to one another. They're often difficult to see, but if you look at it closely enough and with the right uh, contrast timing, they can sometimes come out and you can appreciate them as we can in this instance. And then over here in the mesentery is that nodal metastases from the carcinoid to the mesentery often results in uh, tethering of multiple loops of small bowel to it. There's speculated margins to it. There's often a few tiny calcifications associated with it as well, which we can see um, in some of these instances here. And so this is a great look for a carcinoid tumor of the small bowel with a, a nodal, uh, mesenteric nodal metastasis.